Let's unbox the MSI RTX 5070 Ti Gaming Trio OC Plus and take a look at its features. The box is pretty much what you'd expect. Nothing special, looks good. And here is where we open it up. Just remove these, slide this up. Oh, look at that. Play hard, stay silent. There we go. Opened. The packaging is nice and secure. Take a look at that. There's some foam at the top to ensure that nothing happens to the graphics card during shipping. Nice. In terms of accessories, we get a power adapter, three 8 pins to one 16 pin, and a GPU support stand. I don't think we'll need it, but it's uh, good to see that MSI included one anyway. Let's take a look at it. It is plastic, nothing special, but it will get the job done. At the bottom of the stand there is rubber and magnet to ensure that it stays in place when you put it into your PC case. And there is also rubber at the top. It's time for the main course. Let's remove the GPU. There it is. It's a little bit of tape over here, sealing the graphics card. Let's take that off. There are no more accessories in the box, just a quick start guide. This is looking pretty good already. There's a lot of protecting film all over the graphics card. Let's start peeling it, shall we? There's a pull tab over here. Let's use it. Almost done, just three more to go. Hold on a second, that pull tab didn't work. I finally managed to peel that. Let's see if uh, other pull tabs will work. Yes, this one works and this one. I think I was just pulling it wrong because you're supposed to pull it straight up and I was doing it like to the side. So yeah, that was my bad. There is an MSI logo over here. Nice, look at that. Let's 
changing colors. Beautiful. There's also an LED around here that will light up. We'll take a look at that when we put this card into the PC. Take a look at this exterior. This is a plastic shroud. This LED is over here and over here. Underneath this smoky, semi-translucent plastic. The back plate is metal, which is nice. This is a 300 watt graphics card that uh, gets its power through a single 16 pin connector at the top over here. It is recommended to have at least a 750 watt power supply. In terms of display connectivity, we get three DisplayPort 2.1b and one HDMI 2.1b. These are the latest and greatest DisplayPort connections. That's great. Here's the PCIe slot. With the new pattern. This card has two modes, silent and gaming which basically means it comes with a dual BIOS, which is always nice to have. In terms of size, this card is roughly two and a half slots thick and 336 millimeters long and 140 millimeters tall. The PCB is quite short, it ends right there, which enabled MSI to create a massive cutout on the back of the card, allowing the air to pass through here, increasing the heatsink's cooling capabilities. I see a total of five heat pipes piercing through the heatsink. Yeah, this is a nice cooler. I think it will get the job done properly. The memory is covered by the heat plate. As you can see over there, the memory modules are cooled. I think it's a good looking card. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Let's install it. That logo on the side is a nice touch for a case like this one here to showcase the graphics card. Check it out. Looks pretty good. And there's our other LEDs. As I suspected, we don't need the GPU support stand. The graphics card is fine. Even though it is on the heavy side for a two slot graphics card, it, it sits in there pretty well no sag at all. I'll be testing the 5070 Ti over on my main channel, linked in the description below. Check it out if you want to see how this graphics card performs at various resolutions, including 3440 by 1440p ultrawide. It was I, Vadim, until next time.